today you had an opportunity to see Family Meeting. It's really about our family here at Ember. It's also about the family of the diaspora. Like our school is two thirds black, one third Latinx. And so part of our approach to be a culturally responsive is that we speak to everyone who is here. Because a lot of people live in this um, nation and I also cho chose to do, to make a park so everyone can be happy. And so this is our time once a week where we get to talk about our intersectionality. We get to talk about the big ideas, the concepts, the history that connects all of us to this shared experience that we've had all over the world. Marcus Garvey said, Red, black, and green. Palenque. You look at their faces, you listen to their voices, you hear them express the sense of pride and knowledge. It's beautiful. This is, this is why I do this work. Right. Everything that we decorate our school with, we aim to really um, create a culture that kind of reflects the culture that is at home, you know? So we put things up that really makes them proud of who they are. So like Sister Raquel spent hours <laughs> kind of like creating all these different flags and they're not just flags on the wall they are really representative of all the kids that are in our school. It's really important that this institution um, validates who our kids are as, as something that's important. Now, when I'm reading a problem, I want to be able to do what with this information? Sanaya? When you, when you first read one sentence, you can make a visual in your head or a picture. Yes, you can make a visual or a picture, right? So and if you look at all the social movements, where everything from the Civil Rights Movement to the Nation of Islam to the Black Panthers, it was all about self-empowerment. So the question was, how do we put that at the center of school? And you don't. This is not a school. I know it looks like a school, but this is not a school. This is not what this is. This is a human development organization. And in that way, we're much more like a consulting firm. And people come to us with the problem. The problem is that they are in bondage, they are enslaved, they're trapped in generational poverty. And they are kids are as well, and they want us to help them break those chains. And we know that that can only be done by them. That's why it's about empowerment. That's why it's about mindset. And so we have to do that in this place that we call school buildings. But we could do that anywhere by helping our staff and, and, and our teachers, our human development practitioners, start to step into that role, into that footing. Now we're doing some really revolutionary work. I think now we're doing some things to kind of challenge what we typically called education. I don't know if everyone's going to support that, but I think if you want a healthy, vibrant democracy, you should demand that. You know, we talk about being Harry Tubman. We talk about this as the Underground Railroad, right? We talk about like, this is a pathway to freedom and you got to build it. You got to operationalize it. And I think that's what we've been doing here. And that's what we'll continue to do. Hey!